Hey Chicago Blackhawks family, happy Connor Bedard official NHL debut day. I'm pumped. The guy is going to be a stud. Although I don't know if he's going to be, you know, scoring 50 goals this year, you know, having 100 points. I think I've talked about it a lot. Best thing to do is put the expectations around, you know, 50. That would be the low point. And that might be because there were some injuries or, um, you know, just a little bit of underperformance. But I'd say 70 or 80. Um, if you remember, uh, Panarin, I think, had uh, 70 or 80 points when he won the uh, Calder Trophy. So um, I would say 70 to 80 would probably be the high point. You got to remember, too, who's he skating with. Andre Santos to see you. We saw him go up and down from first line to third line. You know, can these guys handle the passes on the assists? The goals, guy's got a great shot, obviously, but he's still gonna have to learn that some of those moves just aren't gonna work at the NHL level. But it'd be nice if he gets 30 to 40 goals. Interested to see how Kevin Korchinski does in his first nine games. Um, that's just going to be the indicator. You know, his body's probably not going to hold up for 82 games. So do you have him maybe be a healthy scratch a few nights if he proves that he can be uh, an NHL defenseman right away instead of sending him back to the juniors? Either way, super excited for this year, even though I know it's very doubtful that they're going to make the playoffs. For them to even make the playoffs, you're going to need Bedard to be, you know, scoring, you know, 100, 100 to 150 points almost. I mean, you're going to need Lucas Reichel and Connor Bedard probably to be 50, point, 50 goal scorers. And that's the forgotten man. I mean, if Lucas Reichel can develop, you've got a great one-two punch. But either way, pretty excited for the Blackhawks season. And, uh... Hopefully it's better than last season when we had to watch nothing but losing.